everybody. It is Shaughnessy again from the Eastern Iowa Arts Academy. Wearing all black today in honor of our prompt, which is the blackout poem. Um, and I could not love the blackout poem more. <laughs> if you're not sure what a blackout poem is, you're about to be. So don't, um, don't worry about it. But the blackout poem is, is for the days when you don't have any words, right? When you don't have when nothing's coming to you, when you want to be creative, but you have no, um, nothing that seems to be flowing. Um, the, the blackout poem is great because it uses what's already there. And I love it for so many reasons. I love it because, um, because it, it sort of is like a, a recycling or a reusing of, of words that already exist. This is my blackout poem book and it's very small. It's just, a, it was a book of quotes. This is what the regular pages look like. They just have these little, you know, inspirational quotes in them. Um, but I have taken this book. I covered the front um, and uh, I've been using it as a blackout book. Um, so I take the words that are there. I cover everything up except the words that I want and it creates um, it creates a new poem. So I can't, for the life of me, remember what this quote used to say, but now it says, like not making true with both hands. And this is a very small poem. Obviously that's not very many words. Um, this is not fantastically artistic. I've just covered up the words that were there with um, cross hatching. Uh, we have these over here. This is more of a whiteout poem, right? I whited out everything else except for the words that I wanted. Um, you can do this by covering everything with black. You can do this by making designs. Um, you can do this by making X's. Um, however you want to do to cover up the things that you don't want and just show the things that are there that then make a new idea and a new statement and a new um, poem here. So there's lots and lots of ways to do this. I'm just showing you a few. Um, and then we're going to look at the process, uh, which is not hard. The hardest thing is staring at that page. Um, I like this little skeleton guy, he's fun. Um, staring at that page and trying to see something new in it, right? So you, you have your page and it's already covered with words and they already make sense in this way. And so the trick is to look at these words and to stop thinking about what they mean here and just think about the words individually and what else they can mean and how they can connect how this word over here can connect to this word or maybe this word over here and how can you put those together to mean something new that's important to you um so the way that we do this uh you spend most of your time figuring out what you want your poem to say right which words you want to use what order you want them to go in once you find the words that you want i find it important to use a pencil and you can either underline or sort of put a box around the words that you want to save. Um, maybe right over here, write down your new poem so you don't forget to include those words um, because you want to you want to separate the words that you're going to use from the rest of it. And so then once you have your poem and you've got your words, um, you can just take you know, your marker or um, your paintbrush or whatever it is you're going to use to cover up the rest of it and just cover it, cover, you know, cover it right up uh, and watch, watch your poem happen um, on a page that already has words on it. It's, it's kind of magical um, and I love it and I hope you guys will too. Uh, and I, I'm really excited to see what you guys do with any of these prompts. So if you want to just tag the Eastern Iowa Arts Academy, um, uh, you want to, with the hashtag art journal, whatever you want to put in there. Um, this is your, this is your place to be creative and we would love to see what you guys are doing. All right. You have a wonderful day and we will see you again for your prompt for tomorrow.